In the early hours of Thursday, a room lit by dozens of screens. Nervous murmurs, computer fans, and air conditioners harmonize to fill the silence. Tense engineers stare at their monitors as they cling to their cups, seeking comfort in the steaming coffee. Today, they will make history. Just three miles down the road, glistening in the night, stands a behemoth of stainless steel and cryogenic rocket fuel. In a matter of just a few hours, the largest, most powerful rocket ever built will take to the heavens. Four years ago, in tired little Boca Chica village surrounded by wetlands and the ocean, a few SpaceX engineers and workers were trying to bolt a rocket engine to what was essentially a water tank. In a matter of just a few years, their tireless hard work, passion and dedication have given birth to what we know today as Starbase. A still growing, massive rocket factory and launch pad for a rocket that is set to break every single record. As we approach T0, the magnitude of the program starts to creep in. If SpaceX can achieve the goals they have set up for Starship, humanity's relationship with space will forever change. Human missions to the Moon and Mars, massive telescopes and scientific missions that may even dwarf JWST, Starship will open a new door into exploring and understanding our solar system and our universe. But will it lift off? Will Stage Zero hold up against the full power of 33 Raptor engines? Will the engines even light before the launch is aborted? Or the rocket gods forbid, something worse happens? Flight directors, go for flight. Regardless of what is to come, as time relentlessly drives us towards T-0. T-minus 15 seconds. Excitement is guaranteed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, ignition, 2, 1. We have liftoff. slide off the launch pad, engines shutting down and failing. Hydraulic power units undergoing spectacular, rapid, unscheduled disassembly. And yet, Super Heavy's powerful Raptors are still relentlessly pushing Starship through the atmosphere. As the world watches in awe, and ecstatic fans and SpaceX workers are trying to process what their eyes and ears are telling them, this titan of aerospace innovation pushes beyond the speed of sound. Will it actually succeed? Can its remaining engines provide enough power to keep it going? Having already lost half of its hydraulics, how much longer can the thrust vectoring system steer against the imbalance created by the missing engines? With another fiery hydraulics failure, our questions are answered. With no more steering ability, the rocket loses control and starts tumbling. But it doesn't explode. Even after SpaceX remotely trigger the flight termination system, 
Eventually, however, after having proven their incredible structural integrity, Ship 24 and Booster 7 depart our mortal plane of existence. In a rain of steel and thermal protection tiles, they fall into the Gulf of Mexico. Despite the test ending in a celestial firework display, SpaceX engineers have good reason to cheer. While Super Heavy may have dug a bit of a flame trench on liftoff, it didn't explode. Instead, it persevered. In spite of engine failures and hydraulic power unit explosions, it broke the sound barrier and withstood incredible aerodynamic forces as it tumbled back to Earth. This 120 meter tall behemoth made somersaults through the atmosphere and stayed structurally sound even after having its flight termination system triggered. While not the desired outcome, SpaceX will have gathered a tremendous amount of data from this single flight. It won't be long until in a dark control room lit by computer screens in the middle of nowhere, a group of sweaty, nervous engineers will tempt fate again. And we will be watching, sweating nervously right alongside them.